Hey guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So if you are new here, I'm Beth and I am a marketing manager and master's student at UVA in the UK. I'm in week five and I'm starting to feel a bit more settled on my course. So I thought I would vlog this week and bring you along to show you what my life is like now as a master's student. It's not actually loads different to my life as an undergrad, but it just seems a lot more busy, a lot more full on. There's a lot more reading and the readings are long. <laughs> you know, not that they weren't when I was a history student, because obviously if you study history, you're gonna have to read a lot, but they just seem a lot more intense for a master's, which I was a bit naive and didn't expect. So this week is a busy-ish week. It's not as busy as the last few weeks. I did try to vlog last week, but it was just too insane. I didn't have time. But this week's a bit nicer. It's not quite as busy. I've still got all my content hours. I've still got a few extra seminars and things, but I'm working a bit less. And then at the weekend, Alex and my housemates will be back, which will be really nice. They're all on residential placement, so I'm currently in the house by myself and I really don't like it. As nice as it is to have a little bit of peace and quiet, the house is too quiet. So it'll be nice to have them back. I'm just trying to be a bit more chilled this week and protect my mental health a bit more because at the end of the day my master's is literally a year long I don't get a summer or anything so if I don't protect that now then that's just gonna be absolutely shattered by the end of the year so this week is quite a good week to vlog because I've still got quite a lot going on but it's not gonna be too busy that I'm not gonna have time to film but yeah I'm quite excited to bring you guys along with me so you can kind of see how my life is now as a master's student my hair in a little claw clip all day and it's got little ringlets and they're so sweet Thank you. 
it feels like absolutely ages since I've last spoken to the camera so quick update on today so this morning I went into the city center and I did some study at a place called Frank's bar which I mean it is a bar but it's also kind of like a cafe and it opens late so it's a really nice place to study. I was there for about two hours and did lots of revision for my accounting module and I made some really stupid mistakes which is kind of annoying. I think my brain just wasn't quite switched on but generally I feel like that was really productive so that was good and it was just nice to get out of the house, get into the city because I don't feel like I really did that enough during my undergrad so I'm definitely trying to do that more this year. Then once I finished in the city centre I cycled back to uni, had my lunch, went to my lecture and after that went to the library with a friend and did some revision for my finance module which actually I thought was worse than the accounting but after today's revision session I actually feel more like settled with that I feel like I understand that a lot better than I do the accounting which is a bit of a strange turn of events I didn't think that would happen but I guess that's positive yeah so I came home and just finished that because I needed a scientific calculator and in the meantime I put my dinner in the oven I was so lazy and just put a jack of potato in today um because yeah I just want time to chill tonight I didn't want to have to cook and it meant I could get my work finished while that was in the oven so that was positive is such a disaster of a lunch i planned on coming home and making um halloumi pasta but i got home and i was so hungry so i just did some beans and egg on toast the egg was meant to be fried but it ended up being scrambled I'll give you a little update on my day so far because I realised I haven't actually spoken to the camera yet. So this morning I had a lecture at 9, another one at 10 and another one from 11 until 1. So although 4 hours isn't that much, actually Thursday mornings feel quite intense because 4 hours in the same room without any proper breaks in between is quite a lot. It's quite a lot for your brain to take in. But I know I said earlier in the week that I'd hoped that after my reading the lectures would just kind of consolidate my knowledge and I do feel like I understood most things today quite well. So I guess that's positive because it means that my reading earlier on in the week did work and actually I took in all of that information that I read. Once my lecture's finished, I then got home and had lunch, which was a bit tragic, but it was food. And my parents actually just texted to say that they're in Norwich. So I'm going to cycle into the city centre and meet them and then go to the gym. And then after that, I'm going to cycle back to campus and I've got a tap dance class. And yeah, and then we'll see what I do in my evening from there. But I kind of plan to chill a little bit again this evening because I can feel myself getting tired and... I don't want to get tired until the weekend when I can actually rest. I got here and I've got my lock but no key for the lock so Hulk here has just had to break the packaging Hulk. <laughs> for yeah, a new lock, lock that I've had to spend £25 on 